Hi everyone, this is Heba from My Little Journal, and I'm really excited to announce a blog hop at the ton. I definitely recommend you check it out. There's some new stamp releases, uh, giveaways, and also a gift with a purchase. So I definitely recommend it. I'm going to use some of those new stamps that are releasing today. I'm going to end up using, I believe one of them is the City Girls Spring, and the other one is the Wildflower bouquet I think if I'm not mistaken but I will link everything in the description box for you guys now in that stamp set the city girls um, there was like a bunch of little mini flowers and I thought it would work perfectly to create my own background so I'm just stamping it with some black ink now I'm gonna miss some spots and that's okay because the stamp set also comes with little mini flowers that match perfectly so I'm just gonna fill out the like empty spots that I missed with the mini flowers and the great part is you can use those mini flowers to create your own little cluster of flowers if you don't want to use this large one to create a background i think um, it's a perfect little option but anyways once i stamp out my background i'm going to be documenting this beautiful photo of the sunrise spring is almost in the house and i'm really really excited so i really wanted to document this photo um, but I'm going to end up backing it up with some strips of scrap paper. I'm going to use some vellum, this striped black and white, and this really pretty peachy color that matches my photo perfectly. And I'm just going to add them to the edge of my layout. And then once I stick them down, I actually like how this is looking with the vellum in the middle. It kind of breaks it down a little bit. But once I like how it looks, I'm going to stick them down and then go back into my scrap paper and try to find some more scraps that I can use to layer my photo. I'm going to go ahead and staple down my layers. I will also stick them down, but I always like to use my tiny attacher just so nothing shifts before I stick everything down. I tend to forget how I layered it the first time around, and I find it easier to use my tiny attacher. I like how this is looking, but of course, to soften all those beautiful layers, I'm going to use a white doily. I'm going to trim it down and just add one part to the top and the other part to the bottom. That way it looks like I used more than one doily, but in reality, I only used one. I'm also going to be using the Wildflower Bouquet uh, Builder stamp set to stamp a bunch of these flowers. I will fussy cut them out. I'm just stamping them on white cardstock. I'll fussy cut them out and use those as embellishments and to add more layers to my photo. I love stamping flowers on white cardstock with black ink. I just feel like it adds a lot of, I don't know, boldness to any spread, especially when you have a lot of colors like this one. Now I'm really liking how this is coming together and I get really bold. Uh, you guys know I like to stamp on my photos and this is uh, something that I always do. But for some reason, when I wanted to stamp this smile, it's spring, it, I think my hand moved a little bit because it didn't turn out to be as crisp. You can't really see it very well on camera, but it was really bugging me. So I have to cover it up. I end up grabbing one of my labels um, and sticking that right above it or on top of that boo-boo I made and I'm going to re-stamp it and it worked out fine. I don't mind that I had to add the label. I think it actually breaks it down a little bit. Um, I guess I really would have liked it directly on my photo, but it's not a big deal. Once I stamp that out, I'm going to start working on the left side of my spread. I want to add a little title and this rainbow stamp from the City Girls is 
adorable. So of course, I'm gonna be stamping this rainbow. Just I'm using some of my scrapbook.com ink pads to create this little rainbow. And once I stamp it out, I'm actually gonna use some of the phrases from the stamp set to add right above my rainbow. Now, when I'm using a lot of ink and there's a lot of colors going on on my spread, I always tend to grab my black ink to kind of mute it down a little bit. So using my black ink to stamp some of these phrases um, right above my rainbow is really going to help kind of balance everything out, bring in some of that black from the right side and mute down that rainbow. So I end up stamping yay happy spring and then I will also stamp live life in full bloom right under my rainbow. I also want to add some journaling to my spread. So I went ahead and journaled on a vellum piece. Nothing amazing or anything like that. It's just talking about me being excited for spring. And I will be adding that, stapling it down and adding it right under my rainbow. To add something um, to the corners of my title or the left side of my spread, I decided to use some more of those flowers and those leaves. I'm just going to end up adding them to the corner. I'll also go through my puffy hearts and add some hearts around it just to also bring in some more color and kind of balance the top and bottom portion of my layout. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bowl of have tos and start finding some chipboards and phrase stickers and things like that to add as an extra layer and more dimension to the right side of my layout. Um, this is my have to bowl where um, I have to go through it first before I go through my main embellishment drawers. These are just embellishments that have been in my stash for a long time and I just really want to use them. But anyways, I'm going to finish up my layout by grabbing some crystal drops and adding a few drops to my flowers. And then I call my layout done. Don't forget to check out the Ton blog. There's amazing giveaways, a lot of inspiration that you need to check out and some really pretty new stamp sets that you definitely want in your stash. I will link everything in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.